Good morning. I'm going to kind of move from side to side because I don't think you can see me if I stand behind the podium. So, right. As Mark mentioned, I'm going to talk about Section B. Our objectives this morning are to define that section, which happens to be on hearing, speech, and vision. I'm going to explain the new items in the LTEC Care data set, uh, version 3, explaining the intent of this particular section, talk about coding instructions and uh, needed information for items, and then we are going to code some scenarios. And I would like for you to use those um, numbers and letters, and I'll let you know when I'm ready for that. Okay. So the new items and changes to this section B, the B0100 um, is on the plan discharge assessment. Currently, the B0100 is an item on the version 2.0 admission assessment. And then BB0700 is on both the admission and plan discharge assessments. And BB0800 is also on the admission and plan discharge assessments. So the intent of this section is to document the patient's ability to understand and to communicate with others. Here's a few definitions. We have comatose, which is a pathological state in which neither arousal nor awareness exists. Persistent vegetative state, where the patient may regain wakefulness, but no evidence of any purposeful behavior or cognition with extensive damage to both cerebral hemispheres. The expression of ideas and wants, both verbal and nonverbal expression, it excludes any kind of language barriers, and understanding verbal content with hearing aid or device, again, excluding any language barriers. So here is a screenshot of the item, B0100, comatose, and applies again to admission and plan discharge assessments. And for coding, you would use code zero. The answer is no meaning a diagnosis of coma or persistent vegetative state is not present at the time of admission or discharge. And you would use code 1, yes, if the record indicates that either a physician, a physician assistant, a nurse practitioner, a clinical nurse specialist has documented diagnosis of coma or persistent vegetative state that is applicable either at the admission assessment or discharge. For the screenshot for BB0700, for expression of ideas and wants, we have four codes here. Again, for admission and discharge planning assessments. Code four expresses without difficulty. So the patient expresses complex messages without difficulty and with speech that is clear and easy to understand. Code three expresses with some difficulty. If the patient ex exhibits some difficulty with expressing needs and ideas or the speech is not clear, your code two is frequently exhibits difficulty with expression if the patient frequently exhibits difficulty with expressing needs and wants, excuse me, needs and ideas. And code one is rarely or never expresses themselves. And the last item, BB0800, understanding verbal content. Again, we have four codes here. Understands if the patient has clear comprehension without cues or instructions. Code three usually understands if the patient understands most conversation but misses some or part of the message or requires cues. Code two is sometimes understands if the patient understands only basic conversation or simple direct phrases or if the patient frequently requires cues. And then code one rarely or never understands. So I'd like to do some of those scenarios. So if you have your numbers and uh, items out, We'll do some over here. So the first coding scenario for B0100 is Mrs. F has arrived at the LTAC, and she's comatose due to traumatic brain injury. Mrs. F's medical record includes the diagnosis of persistent vegetative state. So how would you code B0100? So why don't you raise what you think, OK? I got a couple ones over here. Got some more ones. OK, got lots of ones. All right, good. And the answer is one, so very good. And the reason behind that is documented in the medical record that Mrs. F was in a persistent vegetative state when she arrived. Our second scenario, Ms. T underwent surgery for a glioblastoma and is now admitted to the LTEC for further treatments. When she needs to go to the bathroom, she uses the call light. 
When the certified nursing assistant arrives, Ms. T points to the bathroom and with garbled speech says, go. The certified nursing assistant reports to the nurse that she often has difficulty understanding Ms. T. So how would you code BB0700? I see some twos. I see some threes. I see more twos, more threes. All right. So the answer is two. Frequently exhibits difficulty with expressing needs and ideas. Ms. T gets her point across regarding the need to go to the bathroom, but the staff does often have difficulty understanding her. For BB0700, Mr. B had a stroke several weeks ago and has a diagnosis of expressive aphasia. The certified nursing assistant asks Mr. B if he needs help with bathing, and he looks at the certified nursing assistant, he smiles, but he doesn't respond verbally. The CNA reports to the nurse that she's not been able to determine Mr. B's preferences and needs with any of his activities of daily living since he was admitted the day before. The nurse interacts with Mr. B, and determines he rarely expresses himself. The nurse plans to collaborate with the speech language pathologist and other care team members and Mr. B to increase Mr. B's ability to express himself. So how would you code BB0700? See lots of ones. All right. The answer is one. Rarely or never expresses self or speech. It's very difficult to understand. And this is because Mr. B's expressive aphasia, is he's unable to verbally express his needs. So for BB0800, we have a coding scenario. Mr. K has been participating in physical therapy to improve his bed mobility skills. The physical therapist reports that Mr. K occasionally requires repetition of simple instructions during therapy. The nurse also reports that she had to repeat information once yesterday to reinforce her verbal communication with Mr. K. So how are you going to code BB0800? I see some twos. I see some threes. Or twos? Okay. The answer is three. Usually understands. He understands most conversation, but misses some or part of the intent of the message and requires cues to, at times to understand. The rationale being that Mr. K requires cues at times to understand instructions, both, both from the physical therapist as well as the nurse. Our second scenario for BB0800, Ms. H recently had a cancerous brain tumor removed, and it affected her ability to comprehend others. The certified nursing assistant asked Ms. H if she's ready to bathe. Ms. H nods and reaches for the washcloth. When the CNA tells Ms. H to be careful not to get her head bandages wet, Ms. H continues to bring the washcloth towards her head, and she looks puzzled and asks why. The CNA explains to Ms. H that she had surgery, but Ms. H doesn't understand until the certified nursing assistant shows her a reflection of her head in the mirror. The nurse notes that cues or repetition are frequently required for Ms. H to understand. So how would you code BB0800? See some twos, see more twos, maybe a three. All right, it is two. Sometimes understands understands only basic conversations or simple, direct phrases, frequently requires cues to understand, and the rationale being that Ms. H understands only basic conversation and does need repetition or cues to understand. So in summary, Section B documents the patient's ability to understand and communicate with others. Patients who are in a coma or persistent vegetative state are at a risk for complications of immobility, including skin breakdown and joint contractures. B0100 is a new item on the planned discharge assessment. BB0700 and BB0800 are um, new items on the admission and planned discharge assessments. Unaddressed communication problems can be inappropriately mistaken for co confusion or cognitive impairment, and they lead to patient frustration, social isolation, mood and behavior disorders. The inability to understand direct person-to-person -person communication can severely limit association with other people and inhibit the individual's ability to follow instructions that can affect health and safety. There are a few coding tips for you. You want to look for documentation of a neurological diagnosis of comatose or persist persistent vegetative state. You want to be sure the patient can hear you or has access to his or her preferred method for communication including the preferred language. If 
the patient seems unable to communicate, you can offer alternatives, things such as electronic devices, smartphone, tablets, laptops, etc., writing, pointing, nodding, or using some type of cue card. You want to observe his or her interactions with others in different locations and circumstances, and consult with the direct care staff over all shifts, and if available, talk with the patient's family and their speech-language pathologist. Um, as uh, Charles mentioned, you have a, in your packet an action plan, things you can write down for you to do when you get back to your institution to help with the rest of the staff to learn this. Evaluate your current documentation to ensure the terminology aligns with the items in the new LTEC Care Dataset version 3. And you want to get practice coding a variety of scenarios with your staff. 